Here I have a double piston extender and retractor which pushes and pulls a block with it. And uh, the problem people have had before when trying to do this is that the, each piston, a sticky piston, will only bring one block with it down. So the pattern of events is once they're extended forward, this piston pulls the top piston down, then the bottom piston pulls this piston down, uh, but it doesn't pull down that block with it as well. So you need this top piston to do one final tug to pull that block down. I'm going to slow this circuit down. This is our little um, trick we add to allow it to retract both ways. And here you can see exactly what I'm talking about. That top piston is doing one final tug uh, to bring things down. And so what this circuit is, it can be made faster so it's one fluid movement. This turns the lever turning on into a quick bloop of a signal, as if you're pressing a button. Uh, where it isn't one constant signal, one bloop, and that's delayed enough that it happens after everything is retracted already once. All right, I added an inverter here and got rid of this one, just so you can see exactly what it does here. Watch the torch. It just blinks off for a moment, and uh, I mean, you invert that signal, and that means you get a little bloop of activity, uh, which is exactly what we need. All right, next over here, these circuits. Uh, this circuit is typical for an extender. Basically what it means is it'll extend. This is the lower piston, this is the upper piston. You want to activate the lower one before you activate the top one. And you want to deactivate the top one before you deactivate the lower one. That's exactly what this does. Activate, activate. This one deactivates before that one deactivates. So once you wire that down to these, let's fix this up. Everything works perfectly. Uh, this piston, that piston, those are easy. I expect anyone to be able to wire those up. Uh, this is to pull back that final block so that you can actually walk under, uh, so that you have a two block height to walk under. If I wanted to, I could probably come up with a three piston extender and retractor that does the same thing. It would just take a lot more time and effort, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, right here, acting as if there's a wall. Instead, we're just going to pull this block right under the wall. That's the simple solution. So that's it. I hope you guys... Oh. I hope you guys like it. I see what the problem is. Remember that this needs to be inverted right here. Uh, so instead of sending it off bloop, you're sending it on bloop of a signal. Don't you love my terminology? I, I'm so bad at this redstone. <laughs> uh, if someone knows the name of this, I, I just made this. I don't know if this is an actual circuit someone's made before or not, um, but it'd be good to know in case I wanted to link someone to the Wikipedia. So let me know, because uh, that, that was a very important circuit uh, for coming up with uh, working a solution for this.